hey, everybody, we know that there's a lot of uncertainty and fear out there, and a lot of individuals are being impacted with COVID-19 and everything that's happening with closures um, across the state. So we wanted to take a second and try to give you the easiest tutorial practicing really great social distance um, as to the two different steps that you need to take in order to file uh, for unemployment insurance. So the first thing that you need to do is head on over to either your smartphone or your laptop to jobcenterofwisconsin.com. So you'll see we've got that up there, all one word, jobcenterofwisconsin.com. And if you have an existing logon from any interactions with this site in the past, you can certainly go on and log in with that. If you can't remember what your username and password is, if you click, I forgot your username and password, it will go ahead and help you reset. If you need to create a new logon, and if you're new to the system, you're going to go ahead and create um, a brand new logon. And that's going to look just about like any other enrollment form that you tend to see on the web. So you're going to go ahead and enter your name, email, confirm your email, enter your mobile phone. If you have one, confirm that if you have one. Um, better to enter your mobile phone than a landline because you will be able to recover your account by a text message if needed. Okay, so we've gone ahead and entered all of our information. We've made sure that we click the box down here that you accept the terms and conditions required to use the site, and then go ahead and click Next. So right here you're going to see it's going to ask you to confirm your um, information via email. So it's going to send an email to you in order to verify that your email address is indeed um, accurate and legitimate. Um, here's where I was saying if you do have a mobile phone, you can confirm with your phone number via text message as well. Okay, so and this is just an example of what the email verification is going to look like. You're going to go ahead and click on the link that came to you via your email address. Um, that will take just a second while they activate your account, and you'll be able to watch the bar go across the screen, knowing that it is indeed working. Okay, here we go. It reminds you again what you put in for your username. Remember, it is important to remember that you're going to click Return to Job Center of Wisconsin. And here we go. We're going to log in and complete our registration. So hopefully you wrote down your username and password um, earlier in the process. And you're going to go ahead and enter that in right here. So go ahead, enter your password, username, hit login. Um, you can save it if you'd like, and then away we go. So for this purpose, you're going to be a job seeker right here. So you're going to go ahead and click on I'm a job seeker. And then you're going to have to go in and enter um, quite a bit of data. So we're going to go ahead um, and enter some data in so that this works for us. Now you do have the option to click here and say that you don't want to provide your social security number at this time. However, if you do that, um, just please know that you won't be able to um, do your unemployment claim online. So we can click in, put in our information, uh, we can put in our address and phone type, we can put in our work phone, um, and away we go, we got our email. So you can elect to opt out of receiving email updates from the Job Center, and then you're gonna move on to the next step. Again, select um, your different high school uh, or where you're at in terms of um, education level, employment status, so you can choose employed, not employed, um, employed but you received a notice of termination um, or not in labor force. Um, so, and then go ahead and click what your status is for unemployment insurance. So you have a few options here. Um, for most of you, um, you are going to be um, filing for unemployment benefits. If you are in the military, you can click yes or no. And then you'll go ahead and click on and move to the next step. Um, you can choose your uh, ethnicity heritage information here. You do have the ability to decline to respond. Um, if you have any necessary um, need to click, if you have limited English or limited English speaking skills, that can be here. And then whether or not you have a disability, and again, you can decline to respond. And so it will take a look at all of your information and you will accept the terms and conditions and finish your registration. So the next step now, and I know this is a lot of steps, gang, um, is your resume builder. And so you're going to need to go through and do your whole resume. Please pay attention to this. You see where it says your session will time out after 30 minutes. So you need to be prepared for this um, portion of your registration. So if you don't have your information handy, 
um, you may want to log out and log back in when you do have it ready to go. So you're going to go ahead and continue, and it will um, help build this for you. So you'll be able to enter text into all of these different things. Um, it will ask you what type of job you're looking for. Um, and so if you just type in a title, it will um, fill that in for you. And so then you can select a category and uh, just keep moving through this entire process. Um, if you don't do something, it will give you a little um, reminder up here that you do need to complete that section before you can move forward. All right, and then once you've completed entering all of your job profile, job history, education, your availability, you've clicked all the radio buttons, it will bring you to Finish Activate. So you're going to click Finish. And here we go. So now you're all set. Um, you've gotten yourself all registered. You've gotten your resume up. Um, and so now if you want to print your resume, I'm um, assuming that you put all of your information in and you use proper punctuation, spelling, and you want that resume to be out there, um, you can find that there. So up here under Job Seekers, you can create uh, resumes, do all of these different things here. Um, but if for your purposes, if you're looking to file for unemployment, you're going to head over to the Home button and click, and then go down to UI over here. And there is a section here where you've got some frequently asked questions for um, how your unemployment benefits are affected with COVID-19. And then you're going to go up to Apply for Benefits Online, and then apply for benefits here. So this will take you to a whole new um, screen. And so this will be the next step for you in filing for your uninsurance, which will be the part two of this video. So one last thing before we wrap up this final module is we want to remind folks that if you have gone in and you're experiencing trouble, if you hover over my JCW in the Job Seekers drop down. And click on that. You, if we see this dreaded red X here, it means you do need to finish this piece of your registration. So you want green check marks all the way across here. If for some reason you do see the red X, you do need to make sure that you go back and rectify that. And then you'll be able to move forward.